What's up, YouTubers? I wanted to share a project I'm working on. I'm getting ready to go to the beach. Super excited. Going to be going down to Navarre, Florida. They have a really big fishing pier. Uh, we went down there a couple years ago and enjoyed ourselves uh, immensely. This year, I really want to try and catch a sheep's head. So this is going to be Project Sheep's Head this year. I've never caught one. Uh, and I understand that a great uh, bait for sheep's head is the yabby or the ghost shrimp. And I've watched a lot of guys designing and building these out of PVC. Uh, well, being a tinkerer and having a 3D printer and whatnot, I wanted to uh, make my own. So I'm just sharing uh, this design that I've come up with. It's yeah, it's pretty much exactly the same as a PVC design, but I just wanted to kind of make it my own and uh, 3D print some of the parts. There's parts laid out in Simplify. I did have to put some supports on this one though because of the way I'm printing it. Because I want to make sure that the area where the O-ring slides and expands is smooth on both of them. Smooth as I can get them. I may actually sand that down a little bit too and add a little grease to it. We're almost done. Starting the top layer. Okay guys, first thing we gotta do is I'm a two inch pipe. I'm gonna trim up this end. It came from the came from Lowe's kinda crooked, so um just straighten it up a little bit. We'll measure out here about 30 inches. Make another cut. There we go. Now we're gonna go sharpen it. Okay, so the next steps I got a 30 inch piece of PVC here. Got to sharpen it on the end to help it go down into sand. We'll call that good. Okay, so now I need to see exactly how long I need to cut my uh, half inch piece. So to do that, I'm going to assemble some of these parts. These are my 3D printed parts. I've got four parts here that, uh, that help this thing go together. So I'm going to take the test plug here apart. We don't need that. We do need this. We do need this. We don't need the plastic parts. We're going to be replacing that. So what we're going to have is this bolt. I don't know if you can see down in there or not, but there's a a, a recess for this square. Okay, that fits good. Fits pretty good. Okay, that should keep that from turning. And we got this goes on. And our other piece goes on. Our washer and our wing nut and I think now we got this piece that's going to be going through our handle so our handle is going to fit on here nice fit going to fit right in here it's going to go right down Okay, it's going to go on here, and we'll glue that here in just a minute. The new one I'm designing has holes in it where you don't even have to glue it. You can use screws if you like. And I don't want this to fit too tight just yet, just about like that. I want this to come down so that if I needed to um, adjust this, I could still get a hold of this and leave enough room up here for my handle. So my handle's going to have a three-quarter inch uh, indentation in it so I cut this off cut this off right here
Hey, that's not looking too bad. All right, let's go glue it up. Okay, so let's hope that PVC glue will glue this PLA to PVC. We'll try and see. If nothing else, I've got some uh, Starbond thick CA that I'm pretty sure will work. Wow, this stuff is a messy mess. Just a little bit of glue. There we go. We'll go ahead and put this one in. And get it to thread through there. And do the other end with this handle. I'll have uh, try to have my <clears throat> my different files up on uh, Thingiverse. Anybody who's interested in uh, making one of these. Put the link down in the description. I guess I can leave this one on there, and I'll also include the uh, the newer one that I'm making. I'll try to make one of those before beach time. It's two days till beach time, so uh, I'm gonna be ready. I'm gonna get that sheep's head. Okay, so I thought of a place I could go try out the 3D printed slurp gun. There's no pond over here. I can keep from getting on a copperhead. Let's see if we can slurp something up. Hey. I think it works. Okay guys, so I'm hopeful that this is going to work. Uh, it seems pretty sound. I'm going to go ahead and build another one of these with uh, just a conventional method with all pipe and drilling out a back cap and everything and maybe compare the two. But uh, hit like, hit, hit subscribe if you guys want to follow along. We'll be taking this down to the beach. We're here in Virginia right now. As far from the beach as you can get in Virginia, way over in southwest Virginia. Uh, but we'll be going down there just in a few days and uh, we'll give this thing a shot. Maybe compare it to the normal one and uh, see if we can catch a sheep's head.